And you may wonder why they show up in a group. Because the authors say, persons with weakened sense of self feel more secure in a group in which they find support. They lack courage to listen to their own conscience and find their identity by associating with somebody believed stronger, respected, and idolized. Mm. I think that was kind of my situation. You might also ask yourself, like I did, why me? Well, it turns out our individuals can be victimized no matter who they are. How old, devoted, loyal, creative, experienced, organized, responsible, how much initiative they demonstrate, or how much a team player they are. Research shows that all of the individuals who were targeted had a high degree of loyalty towards their organizations and were highly identified with their work or by their work. They were particularly creative individuals who more often would be subjected to mobbing because they promote new ideas, which may challenge others. (laughs) So I can definitely see that that's what I was doing. And often mobbies are selected because they constitute a threat to a higher positioned person. Mm -hmm. So how do mobbies feel? I I can really say this is how I felt. They feel alone and cannot believe what is happening to them. It is both difficult to express and difficult for others to understand. When a person is stripped of responsibility, identity, personality, and reputation, the person feels exposed, naked, extremely vulnerable. For some, mobbing is a violation of the soul. Their fear and feelings of betrayal impacts behavior and our sense of self-control. We stop trusting. Mm 